Medication time. Medication time. It's fascinating to learn how our bodies process the medications and supplements we take. Did you know that each of these substances must pass through the liver, our body's ultimate filter? Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. This vital organ works tirelessly to rid our bodies of chemical waste and toxins, ensuring our overall health and well-being. However, there's a risk involved. Liver damage known as drug-induced hepatitis can occur shortly after taking medications or supplements or even up to 90 days later. Unlike the kidneys, which can sometimes be supported by dialysis in cases of acute failure, there's often no backup plan if the liver fails. In fact, in the United States alone, over 2,000 cases of acute liver failure are reported each year, with nearly half attributed to medications or supplements. While many medications have the potential to harm the liver, there are 10 in particular that stand out for their damaging effects. Understanding which medications pose this risk is crucial for safeguarding our liver health and avoiding unnecessary harm. In this video, we'll delve into these 10 medications and explore the early warning signs of liver damage caused by them. By increasing our awareness and knowledge, we can take proactive steps to protect our liver and overall health. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Let's get started. Your liver is like the body's ultimate purifier, tirelessly filtering out everything that enters your system. Whether it's metabolizing alcohol, processing medications, breaking down drugs, or even handling chemicals from your environment, your liver is on the front lines. It's the unsung hero that deals with all these unwanted substances and ensures they're eliminated as waste, either through bile or urine. But here's the catch, while your liver is busy detoxifying, your body, certain substances can wreak havoc on its delicate balance. These can be found in medications or supplements, posing a serious threat to your liver health. So, what are the early warning signs that your liver might be in trouble due to medication or supplement use? Keep an eye out for stomach pain, fever, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Dark urine and pale colored stools are also red flags. And if you notice your skin taking on a yellowish hue, known as jaundice, it's time to take notice. This discoloration can extend to the whites of your eyes, known as sclerolicterus, indicating significant liver distress. Feeling unusually fatigued or drowsy, experiencing persistent itching, or noticing skin irritation are all signs that your liver might be struggling. These symptoms shouldn't be ignored, they could be early indicators of liver damage caused by medications or supplements. By paying attention to these warning signs and seeking medical attention when needed, you can take proactive steps to safeguard your liver health and overall well-being. After all, your liver works hard to keep you healthy, it's only fair to return the favor by taking care of it too. The timeline for medication-induced liver damage can vary widely from person to person, influenced by various factors such as individual sensitivity to medications, dosage, age, existing liver conditions, and even concurrent use of other substances that can harm the liver. Conditions like chronic hepatitis, fibrosis, or cirrhosis, as well as a history of excessive alcohol consumption, can further heighten the risk. Typically, symptoms of liver damage caused by medications can surface anywhere between 5 days to 3 months after starting treatment. It's a critical window during which early detection and intervention can make a significant difference in preventing further harm. While medications are a primary focus here, it's essential not to overlook the impact of alcohol on liver health. Alcohol abuse is a leading cause of liver damage, accounting for about 10% of liver transplants. It's crucial to heed a cautionary note, if you're currently taking any of the medications I'm about to discuss, prescribed by your healthcare provider, do not discontinue them abruptly. Many of these medications are vital for managing specific health conditions, and stopping them without guidance can pose significant risks. Your doctor, who's familiar with your medical history, is best positioned to advise on their continued use safely. As a special bonus, we have included an additional topic, the importance of regular liver screening. This section underscores the significance of monitoring liver health through routine screenings, especially for individuals on medications known to impact liver function. Such proactive measures, combined with open discussions with healthcare providers, are vital steps in safeguarding overall well-being. Now, let's delve into the top 10 medications notorious for their potential to harm the liver. The 10th medication on our list is methotrexate. Medication time. Medication time. 
a versatile drug used to treat a spectrum of conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to certain cancers like psoriatic arthritis. However, navigating the terrain of methotrexate therapy requires a keen eye on liver health. Liver injury lurks as a potential side effect of methotrexate use, spanning from mild disturbances to severe complications. This underscores the critical need for continuous monitoring of liver enzymes during treatment. Failure to heed this warning can result in significant liver damage, posing a grave threat to overall health. To mitigate these risks, healthcare providers routinely conduct liver enzyme tests in patients on methotrexate therapy. These proactive measures enable early detection of liver damage, empowering timely interventions to avert dire consequences. Adhering to medical protocols regarding dosage and administration frequency is paramount, serving as a bulwark against hepatic complications. In some instances, based on individual health profiles and treatment responses, physicians may explore therapeutic alternatives to mitigate the risk of liver injury. The delicate balance between therapeutic efficacy and potential side effects necessitates a judicious approach guided by medical expertise. Navigating methotrexate therapy demands a partnership between patients and healthcare providers, rooted in open communication and vigilant monitoring. By prioritizing liver health and adhering to medical guidance, individuals can traverse the path of treatment with confidence, safeguarding against the perils of hepatic injury. The ninth medication is antifungals. Medication time. Medication time. In the realm of medications that pose a risk to liver health, antifungals emerge as a significant player. Among them, fluconazole and nitroconazole, renowned for their prowess in combating candidiasis and nail fungus, harbor a potential threat of hepatotoxicity in certain individuals. The efficacy of these antifungals in targeting fungal infections is undeniable. However, lurking beneath their therapeutic benefits lies the specter of liver toxicity, ready to ensnare susceptible patients. This underscores the imperative for heightened vigilance among those undergoing treatment with these medications. For individuals grappling with fungal woes, whether it be the stubborn grip of candidiasis or the unsightly menace of nail fungus, awareness becomes paramount. Familiarizing oneself with the telltale signs of hepatic toxicity serves as a crucial defense against unseen threats lurking within. The journey of treatment with antifungals demands a keen eye on liver health, navigating the delicate balance between therapeutic relief and potential harm. By remaining attuned to the nuances of their body's response and promptly flagging any concerning symptoms, individuals can mitigate the risk posed by these potent medications. The eighth medication is methyldopa. Medication time. Medication time. The landscape of medications influencing liver health unfolds, with methyl dopa stepping into the spotlight. Yet, amid its commendable safety profile, a shadow looms over its potential to disrupt liver function. While methyl dopa stands as a stalwart ally in blood pressure management, individuals harboring pre-existing liver conditions, such as fibrosis or cirrhosis, tread a precarious path. The specter of liver damage, though rare, casts a pall over the medication's otherwise sterling record. Vigilance thus becomes paramount, with a watchful eye trained on the liver's well-being. The enigmatic nature of liver response adds a layer of complexity, with adverse effects potentially emerging weeks after initiation of methyl dopa therapy. This latency underscores the importance of diligent monitoring, ensuring early detection of any telltale signs of liver impairment. Such proactive measures serve as a bulwark against exacerbating existing liver woes, safeguarding against collateral damage wrought by hypertension treatment. For those traversing the maze of hypertension management, mindful consideration of liver health becomes imperative. Engaging in open dialogue with healthcare providers paves the way for informed decisions, steering individuals towards safer alternatives when warranted. In this delicate dance between blood pressure control and liver preservation, vigilance emerges as the guiding beacon, illuminating the path to optimal health outcomes. The seventh medications are psychiatric medications. Medication time. Medication time. The realm of psychiatric medications casts a spotlight on risperidone and quetiapine, popularly known as Risperdal and Seracal, respectively. Beyond their role in managing psychoses, these stalwarts navigate the labyrinth of treatment for refractory depression, offering a glimmer of hope where conventional therapies falter. However, amid their therapeutic prowess, a lurking peril emerges in the form of liver damage, casting a shadow over their otherwise commendable efficacy. 
bile, a linchpin in fat digestion and waste elimination, finds its orchestration disrupted by the interference of medications like risperidone and quetiapine. Navigating the treacherous terrain of psychiatric treatment demands a vigilant eye, with clinicians urged to tread cautiously, monitoring patients under their care for any signs of liver distress. Amid the delicate balancing act of managing mental health, the liver emerges as a silent sentinel, its well-being intricately intertwined with the therapeutic journey. In this symbiotic dance between psychopharmacology and hepatology, vigilance emerges as the guiding beacon, steering clear of the precipice of hepatic peril. The sixth medication is paracetamol. Medication time. Medication time. Paracetamol, a household name in the realm of pain relief, emerges as a double-edged sword, wielding both healing and harm in its wake. While it stands as a beacon of relief for headaches and fevers, its allure can lead some down a perilous path of overindulgence, culminating in a dance with liver failure. The tale of paracetamol-induced liver damage unfolds not with the customary dose, but rather with the excesses of imprudence. Picture this. A fleeting headache prompts a pop of three pills instead of the prescribed one, a seemingly harmless act that can unleash a cascade of catastrophic consequences. While paracetamol when administered within the confines of recommended doses, poses little threat, veering off this path can lead to dire outcomes. Astonishingly, over a third of medication-induced liver failures trace their origins back to this seemingly innocuous painkiller. The consequences of paracetamol overdose manifest swiftly, with the liver bearing the brunt of the assault. Then a mere one to three days post-ingestion, the liver's protestations become palpable, heralding the onset of symptoms. Yet, hope flickers on the horizon in the form of acetylcysteine, a beacon of salvation poised to shield the liver from impending doom. But heed this warning, in the throes of paracetamol overdose, the sanctuary of the emergency room beckons louder than the siren call of self-reliance. For in the crucible of medical intervention lies the promise of averting the need for a liver transplant, a fate far less desirable than the fleeting relief of a momentary ailment. In this intricate tapestry of pharmaceutical perils, the saga of paracetamol serves as a sobering reminder of the fine line between remedy and ruin. So, let caution be your compass, guiding you away from the precipice of excess and toward the shores of prudent pharmaceutical stewardship. The fifth medication on our list, notorious for its potential liver damaging effects, is diclofenac. Medication time. Medication time. While it's true that many anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen and naproxen carry a slight risk of liver damage, diclofenac stands out as particularly concerning in this regard. Unlike its counterparts, diclofenac poses a higher risk of causing liver injuries, albeit rare occurrences. What's alarming is that these damages may not surface immediately. They can lurk beneath the surface, manifesting weeks or even months after initiating use. It's a sobering reminder that diclofenac isn't solely a threat to the kidneys. It can also pose significant risks to liver health. Stay informed and vigilant about the potential side effects of medications like diclofenac, and be sure to discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. Your well-being is paramount, and proactive measures can make all the difference in safeguarding your liver health. The fourth medication is amoxicillin. Medication time. Medication time. Amoxicillin with clavulanic acid, a stalwart duo in the realm of antibiotics, stands tall as a beacon of hope in the fight against a myriad of infections from sinusitis to urinary tract infections. Yet, amidst its efficacy lies a shadow of concern, casting a pall over its otherwise sterling reputation. This dynamic duo, while adept at quelling infections, has garnered notoriety for its association with a slew of acute liver injuries. These injuries, characterized by sudden liver damage, herald a clarion call for vigilance in their wake. Thus, the prudent physician treads cautiously when prescribing this potent concoction, mindful of the lurking risks. As custodians of health, healthcare professionals bear the solemn duty of vigilance, monitoring patients for the telltale signs of liver injury. A keen eye trained on symptoms like jaundice, the ominous hue of yellowing skin or eyes, darkened urine, and the gnawing ache of abdominal distress becomes paramount. Yet, the burden does not rest solely on the shoulders of the healthcare provider. Patients, too, must heed the clarion call of caution, attuned to the subtle whispers of their body's protestations. 
In the face of symptoms signaling liver distress be it the insidious onset of fatigue or the tumultuous upheaval of nausea and vomiting swift action becomes imperative. So, in this symbiotic dance between prescriber and patient, let vigilance be the melody that guides us, harmonizing the delicate balance between therapeutic triumph and hepatic havoc. The third medication is amiodarin. Medication time. Medication time. Amiodarin, the stalwart guardian wielded by cardiologists in their battle against cardiac arrhythmias, stands as a beacon of hope amidst the turbulent seas of heart irregularities. Its prowess in restoring rhythm to the heart's cadence is unmatched, often heralding a symphony of normalcy in the cacophony of arrhythmic discord. Yet, within its arsenal of therapeutic wonders lies a trove of potential pitfalls of veritable Pandora's box of side effects. Amiodarin's far-reaching effects span the gamut from thyroid disruption to pulmonary complications, from cutaneous concerns to yes, even hepatic involvement. This multifaceted nature has led to a judicious re-evaluation of its utility, with a discerning eye cast upon its use. No longer the ubiquitous elixir of choice, its administration has become more circumspect, reserved for select cases where its benefits eclipse the looming specter of risk. While acute liver injury is not its hallmark, the subtle tendrils of hepatic harm may unfurl over the passage of weeks to months. Thus, vigilance becomes the watchword for prescribers and patients alike, as they navigate the treacherous waters of therapeutic efficacy and potential peril. The second medication, notorious for its potential to inflict harm upon the liver, is allopurinol. Medication time. Medication time. Often prescribed to individuals grappling with elevated uric acid levels or battling the torment of gout, relying solely on dietary modifications sometimes falls short in taming the condition. Enter allopurinol, the stalwart guardian against uric acid excess and the dreaded onslaught of gout attacks. Liver injuries, a grim consequence of allopurinol usage, can strike with alarming swiftness, sometimes rearing their ugly heads mere days or weeks post-initiation of treatment. Hence, those embarking on an allopurinol regimen must undergo vigilant scrutiny, their livers scrutinized for any insidious signs of damage. Regular medical check-ins emerge as the linchpin in this perilous dance, with allopurinol, serving as the sentinel against potential liver woes. Swift identification of any nefarious liver-related developments allows for timely adjustments to treatment strategies. Moreover, patients assume the mantle of guardianship over their own well-being, swiftly reporting any anomalous symptoms that surface during allopurinol's tenure. Yet, amidst these foreboding warnings, the beacon of hope shines bright, allopurinol persists as an invaluable ally in the battle against gout and runaway uric acid levels. Though fraught with risks, its therapeutic prowess endures, offering solace to many in their struggles with these debilitating conditions. The first medication is anticonvulsants. Let's delve into the first line of defense against liver mischief, anticonvulsant medications. Within this realm, lurk two formidable FOs known as phenytoin, often cloaked in the guise of dilantin, and valproic acid, known by its more enigmatic moniker, depakine. These potent remedies hold sway over neurological maladies but harbor a dark secret they wield the potential to assail the liver. Phenytoin, with its swift and stealthy strike, can unleash liver havoc almost immediately upon ingestion. The liver, unsuspecting, may find itself under siege mere moments after the commencement of treatment. Meanwhile, its counterpart, Depakine, bides its time, its liver-damaging effects lying in wait, ready to surface between one to six weeks post-initiation. Such treacherous terrain demands vigilant surveillance. Regular monitoring of liver enzymes emerges as the gallant sentinel, standing watch against the clandestine machinations of these medications. Yet, the perils do not end here. Carbamazepin and lamotrigine, though less notorious, harbor their own potential for liver assault, albeit far more rarely. As patients embark on these therapeutic odysseys, they must remain vigilant, ever alert to the subtle signs of liver distress. Thus, in this unfolding saga of medicine and malady, the liver stands as both fortress and battleground, its protection paramount in the quest for health and healing. Now let's understand more about how important regular liver screenings are. Regular liver screening is a crucial aspect of maintaining overall health, especially for individuals who are prescribed medications known to impact liver function. The liver, often referred to as the body's powerhouse, 
plays a vital role in detoxification, metabolism, and the production of essential proteins. However, certain medications can place undue stress on this vital organ, potentially leading to liver damage or disease if left unchecked. Liver screening involves routine blood tests that assess various markers of liver function, such as liver enzymes and bilirubin levels. These tests provide valuable insights into the health of the liver and can help detect early signs of liver damage or dysfunction. For individuals taking medications known to affect liver health, such as certain pain relievers, cholesterol-lowering drugs, or chemotherapy medications, regular screening is especially important. By proactively monitoring liver function, potential issues can be identified early, allowing for timely intervention and management. In addition to medication management, lifestyle factors such as alcohol consumption, diet, and exercise can also impact liver health. Open communication with healthcare providers enables individuals to receive personalized guidance on how to protect and support their liver health effectively. Ultimately, regular liver screening empowers individuals to take control of their health and make informed decisions about their well-being. By prioritizing liver health and undergoing routine screening, individuals can mitigate the risk of medication-related liver damage and ensure optimal liver function for years to come. It's imperative to understand that the absence of a medication from the notorious liver damaging list doesn't grant it immunity from hepatic havoc. The roster of potential offenders is expansive, spanning from antiretrovirals to seemingly innocuous vitamins like niacin, and even branching out to include antibiotics, supplements, and herbal teas a topic explored in a separate video. The liver, that unsung hero of our internal orchestra, orchestrates countless vital functions. Its derailment can reverberate throughout the entire symphony of our body's health. For those unfortunate souls, the telltale sign of jaundiced skin heralds a harrowing journey. Yet, within this darkness, a glimmer of hope persists only a meager 20% of such cases emerge victorious without the beacon of a liver transplant. If you found this video informative or helpful, don't hesitate to explore our Liver Club playlist for more valuable content. Feel free to share your health journey in the comments section below, as we believe in learning from one another's experiences. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I extend my best wishes for your continued health, wealth, and happiness. Remember, the key to vitality is in your hands.